Summer is not just for skinny people. We're all people and we all want to have fun in the sun. Guess who snitches? What's good guys, it's Pickamo here and today I bring you guys another Big Fat Confidence video and it is very opportune that I do this right now because summer obviously has already started and I just wanted to go over some things that I went through back in the day when I was not so confident in myself during the summer. Obviously, when summer begins, you are hotter because of the sun, higher temperatures, all that kind of stuff. And you may experience the urge to want to show some skin, whether it be because you feel cute in an outfit, but sometimes it's just because we feel way too hot. Now, this is a very touchy subject because I know among the chunky community, I like to call them, we don't feel as if we are privileged enough to be able to show off our arms or our legs because it is just way too much skin to show or some people it's just it just it makes us feel uncomfortable the fact that we have to show certain parts of our bodies including our little arm flaps or like our stretch marks and stuff like that i want to do this video before the summer ends because i have definitely gone through the point where i wore sweaters in the summer simply because i did not want to be exposed to those people who would obviously judge me at such a young age where people are like oh my god it's so hot let me take off my sweater but look at maria she is definitely wearing a sweater because she's fat as fuck now i was never too big but i definitely was bigger than most people in my school and i definitely do remember that i, I was the second biggest person in my class in grade seven because there was this other girl she had a health condition that made her be really really big but in general, it was just really heartbreaking that I was dying of heat both inside and outside during recess and I just did not want to take off my sweater because no way in hell would I take off my sweater and let anybody judge my stupid stretch mark filled wobbly arms. And I know a lot of you guys, especially the younger generations, you guys are gonna go through that and I do feel like in a way it's important to experience that because then you can realize once you are happy with yourself that wow, I missed out so much time like fun in the sun with my arms out with the wind blowing through my hair and my arm flaps i mean when you get to that phase where you're just like you know what wow like i missed out so much if i had just taken off my sweater life would have been so much greater i feel like it is important to experience that because then you'll appreciate that a little more but for me it was just far too long i went all the way from when i was first here in canada which was 2004 all the way until 2000 and I want to say probably 2011, 2012. I do remember guys that I did get bigger because of a very terrible relationship that I did mention in my relationship advice series. Eventually, some time ago, I did mention that I did gain a lot of weight with the boyfriend that I was with at the time. And so I got even bigger and I felt even more uncomfortable and this kind of personal but he didn't let me wear anything that was for example like this he would only allow me to wear sweaters and stuff. but yeah it was really a really tough time and that really played a, a really big role in my confidence decrease and i just want to share with you guys that honestly it doesn't matter what size you are whether you're too small or too big average size big boned it really doesn't matter what your skin is or what color it is or how many stretch marks you got you should be able to wear whatever you want if it makes you feel comfortable and by that not only do i mean inside but also physically because i know i definitely felt comfortable in a sweater whenever it was 30 degrees outside in terms of okay good i'm hiding all my skin but i definitely did not feel comfortable physically because i was sweating buckets i was sweating so many buckets because it was like 5,000 degrees out and i had a black tight sweater on it was incredibly hard for me to want to take off my sweater and i even remember this one instance where it just got really really hot in grade 7 and i did finally decide to take off my sweater and i did have like a short sleeve that went up to like here and then my friend because I guess nobody expected me to do this. She sat like two rows in front of me and she turned around. She looked at me and yelled across, not the classroom, but within a good 20 people, look, Maria's not wearing a sweater. I was a little embarrassed and obviously I, I just wanted to put it back on because like, why the fuck would you do that for me? I am clearly dying of heat. I take off my sweater and you actually are drawing attention to me, whether it be my arms, my face, my shirt, I don't care. That was really, really, unexpected and uncalled for it happened and it's one of those things that i look back on and i'm just like good 
good that she put me on the spot because I have no reason to be ashamed of what I am or what I have on my skin. I mean, I do have a lot of, you know, stretch marks on my arms. I think on this arm they might be a little bit more noticeable. And of course, I do have my little chicken flap there that I always will hate until I lose it. But, you know what guys, if you guys are going through this stage where you just cannot accept yourself unless you're skinny, I just want you to know there's no reason for anyone to tell you or society to make you believe that only skinny people and slim people are allowed to wear, for example, bathing suits, short shorts, tank tops. They're allowed to wear anything they want because they have the perfect body to show it off. No. I want you to know this from somebody who has experienced this through a lot of years of her life. You can wear it just as much as anyone else can, even if you are your size. No matter what size you are, if somebody is able to wear it, you are able to rock it just as much. I don't care if somebody else tells you that strapless dresses are only for skinny people. I don't care what anybody tells you, and this goes out for the men too, because I have known a lot of men who don't go into a pool without taking off their shirt. They just feel way too embarrassed about their tummy, but it mainly is towards the women who feel like, you know, guys and girls will always judge you if you are way too big. I just want you guys to know that it is not fair that somebody gets to rock a bikini and you don't, simply because you guys differ in several pant sizes. It does not matter. We're all human, we're all the same. Nobody is that important in your life to stop you from doing something that you really want to do in life that obviously, as I said in previous videos, does not harm yourself, them, or anything in the environment. If it does not harm anything in this world and it makes you happy, you have no shame but to do it and to do it happily because you deserve happiness as much as anybody else does. And to end on a very positive note, guys, do remember we are all made out of the same skin. So if anybody's skin looks better than yours, it doesn't matter. They've had their bad times too. And just because we show proportionally a lot more skin in a bathing suit than they do because obviously if their arms are like this size and ours are like up to here, we obviously have a lot more skin to show but that does not mean that it is less worthy of being exposed to this beautiful world that should not judge you for who you are. If it makes you happy, then do it. It should not matter that much. So yeah guys, that's about it. I just wanted to share that very, very quickly before the summer ends, even though it's not close to ending or anything. It's just I wanted to get it out before I forget. And because I have gone through it, I know that those words can help a lot of people, especially the younger youth which are very likely to listen to people who have experienced that. And so I just wanted to get that out of the way. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also leave me suggestions for this series down below in the comments or you can inbox me over there if you guys want me to read a personal message from you guys. That'll mean the world to me because I know that you guys are enjoying and actually benefiting from this series. I hope that you guys subscribe to my channel for more videos and until next time guys, keep up the awesome, never change, and I'll see you guys next time. Spickamo out.